Hey, what's up everyone? Hoi and Pan coming to you from Cupertino, California. Today is April 2nd, 2020. Second? Second. April 2nd, 2020. And uh, happy whatever day today is. Thursday? Yeah, happy Thursday. Man, things are starting to blend together over here. And uh, we're starting a little bit later than usual. But thank you for coming in. I know this is still kind of a weird time. Just a lot's been going on today. So we're going to jump in here and you know, at least be accountable and do a little bit of our, of our regular stream today. So if you're coming to the room, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, I do want to say hi to everyone here real quick. Let us know where you're watching from. You can say, hey, what's up? Coming in from uh, San Antonio, Texas. Or man, I was going through the downloads from this weekend, just kind of blown away by where people are coming in from all over the world. So real quick, let us know where you're watching from down in the comments over here. Just say hello, what city you're watching from. And then um, take a moment to please like, subscribe, follow, share all that good stuff so we can just share this information out with people. The free download for this week is the Live Lesson Pack Season number 2 that's also linked over here. I think I'd be able to do this backwards by now. You can download that. That's linked in um, on the free lessons page. So hoyuanpan.com slash free lessons. And there's a free link for this download that you can go in. Those of you who've been picking up and sending in messages afterwards, thank you very much. Really appreciate all those nice notes that everyone's been sending this week. Let's get into it. So today we're looking at, um, I thought we would continue something off of from yesterday's lesson. So this is the live lesson pack that you see on the page. Instagram folks, what's up, what's up? Let me just say hi to a few people coming out here. What's up, Micah? Job, Job, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, way off trade, champion. Hi guys. Facebook, welcome. Where is the, the comments window? Um... I don't know what I do with the comments window. Hold up one second. I rearranged my windows, so you know now that I've spent two weeks getting used to where everything is, I've <laughs> re reorganized everything. So it's going to take me a second. Let me see. Show all utility windows. And I'm looking for the comment page. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, hi guys. Thanks. And those of you who are tapping out those hearts, those Facebook hearts. Thank you, Drumline Blueprint. I can see those coming through. Thank you. Um, thanks everyone for coming to the room. So let's get to it. The music, which is what I was trying to pull up over here a second ago. You know, it still works better. I moved this window over here and I'll spare the details anyway. I think maybe it still might work better if I go to the, the other side. But okay, we're looking at this music. This is the free download that's available this week. If you slide over here, you can see all the pages that are within it. Uh, we're gonna jump down here and this is gonna be a continuation of yesterday's lesson. Yesterday we talked about stick control which is you know, a key exercise that you want to be incorporating into your workflow, whether you're a drum set player, classical, rock, orchestral, jazz, rudimental, any type of percussionist has used some sort of stick control and they're playing at some point. I'm just going to do two here. And um, okay, let's look at yesterday's lesson real quick. I'll show you the sticking that we did and then I'll show you how we're going to build it off of today's lesson and how the two are kind of related. So. Uh, stick control. Here we go. All right, so you guys can see that. Let me blow this up so you can see the whole thing. And bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so this is what we covered in yesterday's lesson. And if you don't see it on the screen right now, Instagram folks, and you guys don't see this, um, you can just check out the handout, download the handout, and then you'll see it. Okay, so we talked about the sticking patterns. There's four duple stickings that I, that I recommend you start with. Thank you for those hearts, guys, as you're tapping those out. First one is right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. If you put it together, it looks like this, right? Then you shift that double back an eighth note. So it's right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. It looks like this. And then you shift those, that double back another eighth note and then you get what many drummers are familiar with, which is the paradiddle. Paradiddle, paradiddle. And then you shift the eighth note back one more so that it's on the last one of each grouping and the downbeat of each previous grouping. So it's right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Again, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. So if you put that all together, it looks like this. Downbeat, the, the double's on the downbeat first. Right, right, left, left, right, right. Then you shift it, right, left, 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 right, 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 left, left. Then you shift it, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And then shift it one more time, right, Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Okay, so that's what we have in the handout from this past week. Now, what if we did this? What if we took this and then, because it's our normal paradiddle sticking, 
what if we put an accent? Because typically when we play a paradiddle, if we just look down here for a second, typically when we play a paradiddle, you might play it with an accent, and you want to practice it without an accent so that you have the option of either or. But if you typically put an accent on this right hand, if this will let me select it. No, that's not letting me select it. Hey, wake up. Wake up. What's up? Okay, that right hand and this left hand. I don't know why it's not letting me select it. The downbeats. It would look like this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. Okay, so the accent, the hand after the double is where the accent would go, right? So if we did the same process with this here, you would see this. Right, right, left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right. Thank you for those hearts. Appreciate that, okay? So that would look like this. And ready, go. Okay, all right, try that one more time with me. Thanks for those hearts, guys. I can see this coming through. And ready, go. Okay, try the next one. You put the accent after the double, so we're gonna put it here on this right hand and on this left hand here, okay? It's not letting me highlight certain notes today for some reason, it's weird. Okay, so it would look like this. So now the accents on the uh, which is kind of funky, right? One, two, three, four. All right, that's kind of cool. Then you take the next one, which is here. Again, the doubles after the accents after the double, so it would just be on the downbeat. This is what we're probably most familiar with. Right, left, right, left. Thank you, guys. You guys are being so generous with the hearts today. I really appreciate all the bloop, bloop, bloop that we see coming through the screen. Thank you for that. And then the last line here, in this last measure, we put the double on the E, or sorry, not on the E, but on the end of one and the end of three. So it would look like this. And ready, go. Okay, so all the way through, putting the accent after each double, straight down, I will play two bars of each. One, starting back up here. Okay, all right, let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Uh. Uh. Again, me go. I think that and down. And then a double right. There we go. Okay, one more time. Two, ready, go. And all right, did you get all that? It might have been a little bit quick. Let me just take it, check out the metronome, take a second to work through that. Okay, if this is too quick, um, just slow it down. But for speed's sake, because I want to get to the main lesson portion today, this is kind of just a jumping off point for us to get into the main lesson topic, okay? All right, here we go. And one, two, ready, go. Last time, ready, go. Okay, that's a little funkier. That's a, it's not quite the order. You could switch the order around too if it makes more sense for you. Maybe you start with the third pattern, which is the paradiddle. And then you move the accent to the and, so it'd be. And then move the accent to the and again and then the accent to the uh, that would be. That might make more sense. Whatever aura works best for you. But this is where you can start to play around with accents versus no accents. Just using a paradiddle sticking, you can see how many different combinations we can come up with. Okay, uh, let's look at the comments that are coming through and then we'll jump down to how we're gonna apply this in this paradiddle jam lesson that we're looking at. And this is something that, uh, I think I saw Job come in the room earlier that you could apply to a drum set. 
you could apply to just a single pad if you want to put on some music. Lots of different ways that you could use this. Okay, so let me come back out here for just one second. Come down, across. Yeah, this is not as efficient. I need to switch this window back for, for a reason. Job says, thanks, Wade. Got to get back to work. Thanks for the lesson. Very cool. Oh, hey, thanks, Job. Thanks for coming in. Uh, let's catch up soon if you get a chance. We'd love to hear how things are going with you. All right. Um, thank you guys. And if you have questions, hey, Jacob, thanks for coming. Jacob says, that's tasty. So that's tasty. Yeah. So um, if you do have questions, we'll do a little bit of a Q&A at the end of today and um, take open questions. But I want to show everybody this this exercise that we're looking at right now, right here. Okay. So this, this lesson is called Paradiddle Jam. It's, you know, the beginnings of how you can start using these different sticking patterns to create a jam. Um, and the main thing that I hope you take away from this lesson is that you can use these as like inspiration to start creating your own paradiddle jams, right? And once you make up the sticking, you can do it by the way it feels, you can do it by writing it on paper and then trying to figure out to see if you can play it. Then you put on some music and you make sure you play along with the music. And there's lots of ways that this just makes the practicing a little bit more fun and, and groovy as you're playing, right? So let's look at this first one. We're gonna move through these pretty quickly, um, but you can look at them and just start to get an idea of how you might use them, okay? So let's look at this first one. If you analyze it with me real quick, paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Easy, we've got that. Paradiddle, 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 okay? And then you look at the next part. And this is also gonna be kind of the inside look into the work of how I memorize music, right? If you take a second to analyze what you're playing as opposed to just like, trying to memorize right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Uh, you wanna try to zoom out and like theoretically go like, okay, what am I playing here? And I know now that the first bar is just one bar of paradiddles, which I know how to do. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. And even though I wrote this out, it was many years ago that I wrote this, I'm kind of looking at it on the fly with the first time I'm, I'm looking at it on the fly with everyone right now. So as you're looking at this, this is how I would memorize it if I was seeing it for the first time which is kind of how it feels right now. So let's look at the next bar. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Two paradiddles, continuing. Ba, ba, bo, do, ba, do, bo, bo. Okay, so what I see here is the first two beats are also paradiddles. Oh, sorry guys, you can't even see what I'm highlighting, sorry. My bad, let me try this one more time. You guys are like, what is he talking about right now? I can't see what he's saying. Okay, here we go, all right. Take two. All right, so we've looked at this first bar. We have one measure of paradiddles. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Okay, you see that? Yep, everyone's with me. Okay, and you look at the next bar, and you have two counts of paradiddle. Okay, it's the same as before. And then here, I have the, instead of the accent on the downbeat of three, I have bo ba bo bo ba bo bo bo. But it's still right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So it's the same sticking, but I'm just putting the accent on the E of three now. Okay, so the second bar looks like this. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Thank you for those hearts, appreciate that. So you've got two left-hand accents in a row. Paradiddle, paradiddle, ba, ba. Okay, so now, now that I've read it in my mind, analytically, I go, okay, so I've got paradiddles for the first bar, all downbeat accents in the second bar. Paradiddles for this two beats, and there's paradiddles sticking all the way through, but on the third beat, I have an accent on the E. So, paradiddle, paradiddle, ba ba da da ba da ba 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 So now I have the first two bars, or the first line, memorized. I don't need to look at the music anymore. I might reference it back just to make sure I've got it, but those are all things that I have kind of in my vocab, and I can talk myself through it as I'm playing it. Paradiddle, 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 second bar, um. Okay, and that's how we have, that's what we have so much, okay? The infamous putada, as Jacob says, All right? So yeah, in that second bar, you could also think of it as uh, pa, like putada, right, putada, left hand paradiddle, right? But if I say in my head, hey, the first line is all paradiddle sticking, then all that's all I need to think about. That's one thing to think about. And then I think, okay, I've got an accent on the E of three in the second bar. So there's only two things for me to remember. Okay, so if you have paradiddles in your vocabulary, that should flow pretty straightforward as you're going through this. Okay, all right, let's go into the next line. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Oh, look, the first, the third bar is just like the first bar. So now if you wanted to think like form, measure one is pattern A, measure two is pattern B, 
and then measure three is pattern A. Yay, so we've got another thing. That's one less thing we have to think about because it's just like the first bar, which is straight paradiddles. And then we've got the fourth bar is what we're gonna look at now. We have paradiddle, paradiddle, which is just like the second bar, how it starts. And then there's something a little bit different on beat three. Uh, ba, 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 oh, that's just like the second bar also. And then, oh, beat four, there's something a little bit different. What is that? What'd you do there? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's a double left right there. Bum, 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 bum. So that fourth measure is paradiddle, paradiddle, e, bum, ba, ba. So we're adding accents on and, uh. All right, so line two is bar of paradiddles, bar four, paradiddle, paradiddle, e, four, and, uh. And then, of course, you repeat back over so it comes around to the right, okay? So let's do line two one more time and then we'll string the whole thing together. One, two, beginning, go. Paradiddle, 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 E, paradiddle. Again, line two, three, four, second variation, two, E, four, and a, yeah? Okay, now if you didn't get that last little tag at the end, then just do that a few times. Right, and we're being really particular about how we're placing each of those inner beats. All rules for great paradiddles apply here. And that's where you start to get this groove, right? You can hear. Right, so if we put this in context, it might sound like this. One, let's put the metronome on. One, two, ready, go. Right, so if you start adding rims and drums, and you can start voicing it on your tom, right? There's all sorts of voicings that you can do with this. And, and if you read this top intro part, this lesson is actually inspired by a video lesson that I saw of David Garibaldi, who if you know Tower of Power drum for many years, and he talked about how he was experimenting in his Navy years when he was playing in the, the Navy band, I think. Um, and he would experiment with paradiddles, and that's, a lot, that's where a lot of these groups came from. So these are original ones that I was kind of experimenting with when I was playing around with it after I saw that lesson. But take this and you can start moving around the accents and then that's your experimentation process. Okay, all right, let's try this. Um, actually, let's let that marinate, let's keep going, okay? So we're looking at the next section. Same process, let's analyze what it is that we're playing first and then uh, start to play it. Okay, so we're starting here. Paradiddle and then alternating. Oh, we have a double para. Right, right, paradiddle, huh? So some of you may have not seen that figure before. We have paradiddle double para, do boom da. Okay, paradiddle double. Oh, uh, uh, left left. Uh, 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 uh. So the bo bo ba to put that accents on the left hand, the doubles down the right hand. Right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, right, left. Right. Left, right, right, left. Okay? Um, in the next bar, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, it's the same thing. Bo, bo, ba, bo, bo, bo. Woo! Okay, so the second bar is just like the first bar. You do two of the same thing. So, paradiddle, double, para, right, right, left. Paradiddle, para, double, right, right, left. Beat four is just a left paradiddle each time. Uh, uh. So you can hear that melody, or you can hear the beat now. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, 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 boom. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Right, third bar, 
uh, we have down here, dum ba, dum dum ba. Surprise! It's another bar of the same thing. So you just have three bars of the same thing. So now, just by taking a second to analyze it, we've memorized three measures in like less than two minutes, probably, right? So this is why that analyzing piece is so important when you're learning new music. And then just per periodically reference back to make sure that you didn't re misanalyze or misread something. You might catch something that you missed earlier. Okay, all right, you're trying one time. Okay, and now in bar four, we've got something different now. So check out bar four. We've got this. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right. Left, right, right, left. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, so these first three beats, it's the same thing that, it's one of those things that we did at the beginning lesson, which is right, left, left, right. So it's a paradiddle, but instead of the accent being on the downbeat, the accent's on the uh now. So if you just started here, you'd see that it's pair, uh, the, uh, let me see that, paradiddle, paradiddle. So it's two paradiddles, but on the uh. So that's kind of tricky, right? And then, pa -da -da. oh, there's that pa -da -da that Jake was talking about earlier, right? So bar four is pa -da -da, uh, 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 uh. So I said, I guess that is pa -da -da. Pa -da -da, uh, 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 pa -da -da, uh, 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 uh. Right, so that that flows also, right? So now we've got three bars of a groove followed by a fourth bar of like this little turnaround fill bit, okay? So let's start from the beginning and try that. One, two, beginning, go. And, mm, 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 uh, 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 here comes the fill. putting in some rim stuff in there. You could just practice it straight, but you can hear how that, that melody is starting to come through the playing, right? Jacob says, so So on that downbeat of the double stroke on the turnaround with the left hand, is that a downstroke on the double on the left hand to the release? Well, let me see if I can follow that. So on the downbeat of the double stroke on the turnaround, the double stroke on the turnaround with the left hand, with the left hand, is that a downstroke on the double? Is that a downstroke on the double and the left hand to the release? I think you're talking about this part, Jacob. Maybe if you give me a beat. I think you're talking about this part here. That was, oh, on the first one. Okay, thanks, that makes sense. Uh, let me try one more time. So on the downbeat of the double stroke on the turnaround, oh, here, okay, so here's a turnaround. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what Jacob's asking is, okay, so you see there's this double left. Let me zoom in here so we can see what we're talking about. So you have a double left here that Jacob's talking about, right? And there's two up, right? So um, on beat four, the downbeat here, this note, this note here, that it won't let me highlight. Come on. That note here, that's a full stroke, right? Because there's two doubles. But Jacob's saying that second double is gonna be a downstroke because when you repeat over here, you can see that first left hand note's a down uh, is a tap height, right? So the turnaround on beat four is bum down down. Yeah, so let's see how it ends down. So uh, how does that measure go? That ends down to set you up for. Good observation, Jacob. Okay, let's string uh, Paradiddle Backbeat 2 one more time, and then we'll go into Paradiddle 3, which is a little bit more challenging. Okay, here we go. One, uh, let's see that. One, two.
Okay, so you can hear in that fourth measure, it's not perfectly even the way I'm playing it right now because I hear like a backbeat in my head. And if you go, um, but I want to see if I can even it out first and then put the feeling of it back into it. So that last bar is. Alright. Hello from Brazil. Hi guys. Thank you. Alright, let me try the last bar again. Two, ready, go. That's better. Alright, back to the beginning. One, two, begin. So that's another beat that you could play um, to hear that sound. Okay, any questions? No questions are good, let's keep going. Is there a point when you begin using a double bounce as opposed to a double stroke as the speed increases? Yes, absolutely, Chris. So that's that's like the, the goal, right? When we're building our double strokes, we teach our students to be able to play those notes at a slower tempo with two wrist motions, right? Just like we would when we're playing legatos. So I think this relates back to a question that maybe you asked uh, in a previous lesson. So your hands are up like this, right? So they're used to getting those two full or free legato strokes. So even at that tempo, you can see that my knuckle is moving twice. I'm doing two wrist motions, right? And then I start maybe using some fingers and maybe a little bit of wrist. Okay, and Chris, you can check this out in the marching percussion playbook. I talk about this, right? So let's say I can use a wrist motion from 60 all the way up to 144, right? So that's my range. I can go from 60 to 144. I'm just making up some numbers here, but 60 to 144. Then my goal is also to be able to start using some arm and a little bit more bounce, natural bounce from the stick. And maybe I can do that at 120, right? So at 120, I'm using some arm and some fingers and some more just like bounce of the stick. And this is where I need to start using a little bit of my finger control to get two notes of equal value still, right? If I don't, then the, the sound quality will suffer. But what I'm shooting for is that, let's say it's like, if this is backwards for you guys here, so I guess it should be here, okay. So if it's, let's say, 60 to 120, or to 144 is my wrist stroke, my bouncing finger arm stroke is from 120 to say 180, right? But then I've got that overlap between that 120 to 144 area where the two approaches overlap. And the purpose for that is so that you can seamlessly transition from this wrist motion into the arm and finger motion. You, you don't see a hitch where I'm going like wrist, arm, right? I can just make that transition seamless. And then maybe there's another step further where you're not using your fingers really at all. I'm just moving all arm and relying on all bounce. And the same thing, you want that seamless transition between maybe that's like 160 to 220 that you're able to do that transition. So if you can make that seamless, it allow you to move between these different, and I don't think about any of this as I'm doing it, right? Maybe at first you need to analyze it and break it down. But ultimately, that's why we practice our rudiments, you know, slow, fast, slow. You have to be able to move between all these different pressures and you know levers and muscle groups in your hands seamlessly. Okay. Good question, Chris. Really, really good. Like overlapping single tonguing and double tonguing for wind instruments. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. You've got to be able to double tongue at a tempo slow enough to where it still sounds good, but you have to be able to single tongue fast enough to where you're in the double tongue range and then you can seamlessly 
transition between the two. That's a great example. Thanks for sharing that. That's what I'm going to learn today. That's my what did I learn today bit. So thanks, Chris. Okay, let's look at this paradiddle back me. I don't think I've seen any questions. Um, Nick is six says, such an amazing teaching approach, Huey. Thank you so much, Nick. Thanks for those kind words. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's keep going. Um, this is Paradiddle Backbeat 3 that we have pulled up on the screen. And Instagram folks, if you're, oops, oh, sorry, let me scroll back down. Uh, Instagram folks, if you're seeing this, you can catch this on YouTube. Um, you know, if you're catching this replay, do me a favor, guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm sitting at like the mid 1.5 thousand subscriber range. Uh, I want to see if I can hit 2K just to see, because I haven't been posting on YouTube for a long time, admittedly. But I've been doing a bunch of these live streams. So if you find these lessons helpful, do me a favor and head over to that YouTube channel and just hit that subscribe button and um, share it out with your friends. That's the, the, probably the thing that will help the most is if we're sharing this out. Okay, so same deal. Step one, let's analyze. Paradiddle, uh, not a paradiddle. And I think, I think this is a typo in the part actually. Okay, so this is my bad, way's bad. Can I do this on the fly? Let me see if I can do this. Um, I need to escape out of this. And I'm gonna add a note. And this should be a left. Okay. And this should be a left. Left hand here. That's just, that's just a straight up typo that I'm catching two years after the fact. <laughs> Uh, and this font, what is this font? This is like a, it looks like a Helvetica. Okay, I need to cover it up. You guys are watching this uh, happen on the fly here. This is, this is, it's not pretty, but this will be a little band-aid for this situation right now. Have whited it out first. One more time. Okay, and then drag this down. So we want to make sure that this isn't confusing as we're, we're learning this together. All right, that's better. Okay, so that's a paradiddle. So we have paradiddle, paradiddle, uh, uh, paradiddle. Par okay, this one's a little bit baked. So let's just let me play it, and then we'll. Uh, Analyze it together. So you have an idea of what it's supposed to sound like. All right, so it looks like this. One more time. Okay, all right, so let's look at this turn around real quick at the end. We have bo bo bum ba ba bum ba ba bum ba ba bum the last part here. We just have right, right, left, 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 right. Right, right, left, 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 right. right. And so this is why these patterns are fun to play because you're moving between consecutive accents, single accents, etc. Right. First two beats, straightforward, two paradiddles. Paradiddle, paradiddle. Okay. And then here we have a double paradiddle. Para, para, right? This is a para, two paras, para, para, also known as a double para, double para, diddle, but the accents are on the downbeat of the para, so para, 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 and then now we have paradiddles on the and. So you know that first bit that we did at the beginning of the lesson? Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. So now the paradiddles are on the and, so it's rest, paradiddle, 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 right? And then you have that little turnaround bit that we did at the very end, okay? So let's break it down chunk by chunk. So this is where it doesn't make sense to break it down beat by beat. You wanna break it down like micro phrase by micro phrase. So the first phrase is boom, ah, boom, to beat three. Boom, ah, boom, okay, got that? And then starting on beat three, I think the next phrase would look like
like maybe somewhere in here. I, I, I'm trying to see if I can get to this this left hand and. So paradiddle, paradiddle, bum 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 bum. So it's kind of entering in a weird phrase because this is not a, a two bar, a two beat or a four beat or even a measure. This is kind of a eight count phrase. So sometimes it doesn't make sense to break it down beat by beat, but I'm breaking it down thing by thing. So in this instance, here's one thing. Double paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Double paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. I know right now some people who are like jumping in the train like, what is this? This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense when you're playing it just like bit by bit. This is how you would learn it. In context, it would sound like this. So this is very much drum set groove inspired. Right, so whatever, you've got that kind of offbeat groove thing that happens before you get back on. Right, so slowly, paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, double paradiddle, and then turn around, ba ba bum, ba ba bum. Right, right, left, 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 right. Okay, first part, paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, double paradiddle, 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 turn around. Right, right, left, 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 right. Right, right, left, 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 right. Very slowly, all the way through. Paradiddle, par. Hey, Alex, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Jaime, Rick Yanez. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining the party. Let's keep going. So, yeah. Paradiddle, paradiddle, double. Pair, pair, pair. Right, right, left, 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 right. Now, that right, right, left, 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 right is causing you to blow up at the end. Just isolate that a few times. Boom, 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 boom. Now try it from the paradiddles. So that first paradiddle starts cha. Okay? So try this. You're gonna start with the left paradiddle. Left paradiddle, right paradiddle, left paradiddle, right, right, left, 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 right. Rest. Uh, uh, uh. Right, right, left, 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 right. Um, bum, bum. Sometimes it helps to build it backwards. Um, and then, oh look, I just tack on a double pair before that, and then I have this chunk. Okay, so try that. Double pair, ready, go. Slower, ready, go. Faster, a little faster. Okay, then you string that whole line together. So slowly once, and then we'll speed it up. Ready, go. Paradiddle, paradiddle, double. Pair, pair, pair. Right, left, left, right. Okay. So I've had instances where people were like. Wait, how do I memorize music? And I've, I feel like I've been kind of teaching that the last couple of weeks inadvertently. But I also remember the time as a teacher when I made the realization, it was like, oh, memorizing music doesn't come naturally for some people. And what I, in hindsight, realized was I figured out how to memorize music through trial and error, kind of just on my own, when I, as a music student shedding in the, in the practice room. And I just like came up with strategies out of survival, honestly, to memorize music. And I wasn't consciously thinking about like, how do I memorize things to break them down, right? So uh, we should do a lesson on this, I think, because that, that might be helpful. Um, we've talked about this before also, um, one of our Drumline Chops live streams. But I will say breaking it down into these little pieces, making sure you understand what you're playing, because I guarantee everyone that's watching this has experienced this at some point where your hands are playing, and all of a sudden, you realize that you had no idea what you're playing, but your hands kept on going, and you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And you're on autopilot, and then you're just 
hoping that you don't break. Because how many times has this happened to us where you break and you can't start where you left off or or shit, continue on and you have to go back to like letter C in order to get back into this this part that you're playing. That means you don't really know what you're playing. Your hands are kind of just on kinesthetic autopilot, right? So what we're doing now is making sure that we understand what we're playing. Two paradiddles, double paradiddle, left hand paradiddle, left, right, left, turn around, right, right, left, 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 right. Which is also, you know, that second stick control pattern we played. So everything stems back to that original stick control exercise that we were talking about. We're just kind of playing around with this in a musical context, okay? Hi, Jill. Hi, Jacob. I always had to sing it kind of like when you beatbox. Yeah, that's a great point too, Jacob. And that's like, that's like another strategy. It's like you have to hear what you're trying to play in your head too. And if you can hear it in your head, now you've got something in your head that you're just kind of like, playing and then you just make that come out of your hands. Provided that you have all the mechanics in place for it, right? So that comes with your stick control, axe and tap practice that you're also doing in addition to this like for fun application setting that we're talking about today. Okay, all right, let's look at this last part and we're gonna run out of time here. I, I did not pace this really well. We could make this lesson longer, but um, I've gotta cut it pretty close to what we set today. So. The first bar is the same as the, uh, sorry, the third bar is the same as the first bar. So we have uh, measure three, let me highlight it so people know what we're talking about here. Paradiddle, paradiddle, double pair. Okay, and then it's a paradiddle, left paradiddle takes us to here, and then what is that? Okay, so that's a fill, we would just call that a fill. Like, what is that fill? Okay, so we've got a pa da da, Pa da da, right, right, left, right, left, left, pa da da, right, left. Ah, what was that? Okay, so this is gonna blow some people out of the water because these live lesson packs were kind of constructed in order. And before this lesson, I think it's in this one. Otherwise, I'd just be a jerk for throwing that in there for no reason. Where is this? <laughs> I think I was a jerk. Uh, I could have sworn there was a nylon lesson in here somewhere. <laughs> there isn't. Okay, sorry. There is a free nylon lesson on my um, free lessons page. Come on, man. There's got to be something in here that would help somebody with this. No? What is happening? Fives. No, those are quintuplets. Okay. I don't know why I threw in this random fill. It must have been inspired by something else that was going on around that time. But this, oh, that's in the triplet sticking, right? Triplet stick control. And this, da da ba. All right, oh, so I'm not a jerk. I'm actually a very thoughtful teacher. So you've got your pa da da stickings and your da da pa stickings. And this little fill bit at the end that we're looking at here is a combination of pa da da, pa da da, Da da pa, pa da da, pa da da, da da pa, pa da da, pa da da, pa da. Okay, and that's actually like a cycle. All right, so these pa da da, da da pa, which we talked about in the four to one week of live streams. So go to back to week one of the live streams, and on the last day. We talked about how to 4 2 one this. All right, you can 4 two, one that, and here you just have that sticking, rest. Okay, and I made that basically into fill. Um, basically, if you haven't seen this before, you just need to go slowly. Rest. And then you'll hear it in your head also. Dun dun ba dun dun ba dun dun. Rest. And your hands will just know how to fill it in. Okay. So let's back up to the beginning of line two. And I, I know I'm losing a couple people here. Sorry for the speed of this. It's going a little bit quick. So just rewatch this a few more times if you need to. You can get it. You might have to go slower and rewatch it many many more times. But 
just piece this together slowly and then gradually over time, you'll be able to get this, okay? So beginning of line two, we're down here, back to the beginning here. We have paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle, dun, dun, ba, dun, dun, ba, dun, dun. And then you go back to the beginning of this group, okay? Let's try a little faster, one, two, just a little bit faster. Paradiddle, paradiddle, uh, uh. Again, go. Okay, all right, let's zoom back out. We're gonna play the whole thing through. And I wanna put some music behind this so that we can play this in context. And that'll be our, that'll be our lesson for today. Rick says, I love your drum set groove reference. This would fit nice between snare drum and hi-hat. Yeah, exactly, Rick. And that's actually what I had in mind when I was making these, right? If, you, you can, if you're at home and you just have one thing, you can do like right hand on the rim. All right, you can set something else up. And separating your hands is a great way to practice your paradiddles and paradiddle diddles for the students out there because you can hear each hand when it's isolated. And if you're kind of like cheating on a double, it becomes a little bit more apparent um, when, it, when you're doing that. So, okay, all right, here we go. This is paradiddle backbeat three. Try it, beginning. Okay, and something that I might do is I might play the first two bars three times, two, four, six, so that gives me six bars of just this groove. Um, let me do this, I'm gonna put this back here on two. Four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, ready, go. Next line. Repeat. Repeat. Next line. All right, so now you've got like uh, the first two bars two, four, six, and then in the seventh, eighth bar, you can play those last two bars. And now you've got like an eight bar phrase that you can play. So ways that you can experiment with, yeah. And Rick says, thanks for that, Rick. Let me just throw these in here for people who can see it. Rick says, come on, now so you can do it. No, I, I rearranged these six. Rick says, ooh, that flow's nice. Yep, and Jacob says, that's so cool. You can hear the Met pop out on the beats three into beat four. Yeah. So this is one of those fun ways that you can experiment with how to, you know, flow and groove in your practice as you're doing this. Okay, we're, I want, we're running out of time here. Instagram folks, I want to keep you included here. So let me see if I can get this done in time. Okay. Uh, I've been following this musician for a long time now. But I've just only recently been watching his Instagram videos. I don't know why they started popping up, but I've been watching them. They're awesome. This is The Count. You'll see, if you watch any of my YouTube content, you know that I use a lot of uh, The Count's music in my like scenes and such. But check out these little mini videos. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, up here, escape. I'm gonna pull this out so you can see these videos. And you guys should follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Count, K-O-A-L. Let me see if I can pull this up. Put a little sound here. Let's try the, we're gonna try groove, that one that we just did. One, three, one, two, ready, go.
off script a couple times in there where I was just playing some other stuff, right? But you can see how you could use this sticking pattern against the backbeat, okay? Let's use the same track and try uh, Paradiddle Backbeat 2, okay? All right, let's try it one more time. time. One, two, ready, go. Okay. So let's try this. We're gonna put the two together now. We're gonna play backbeat two and backbeat three in the context of this groove, okay? All right. Starting with backbeat two. One, two, backbeat two. Okay, I got it. We're gonna make one thing out of this now, okay? So we're gonna play Paradiddle Backbeat one, one time through, Paradiddle Backbeat two, two times through, Paradiddle Backbeat three, three times through, okay? And I think that should line up correctly if I counted the bars correctly in the phrase. Let's try it. Grab your sticks and pads. If you can't hang, no sweat, do it with the slower track that you've got, and then eventually you'll be able to put it together with something faster, okay? Hope you're doing well. Hey, thanks, Tyler. Appreciate it. Thanks, bud. Okay, here we go. One time through pair, uh, the first one, and then two times through each of the consecutive following ones. Okay, all right, here we go. Actually, we could start it right there and then do it twice. Five, six, beginning, go. Next one. Next one. Nice. So, uh, we'll do it one more time, because I know some of us are like, oh yeah, I've almost got it! So we'll do one more, and uh, we're gonna start two bars earlier this time, so we can play the Paradiddle Beat back one twice also. Okay, so two of each, I'll count us in. All right, um, and I'm going to pull up the music this time so you guys can see what's going on over here. All right, I'll count us in. Yeah, good luck. Five, six, ready, go. Nope. We're, gonna, we're not gonna have enough bars. We need to start right away. How do we do this? Um, start in the third bar. Up here, it'll be back one. All right, here we go, try one more time. Five, six, ready, go. Backbeat one. Backbeat two. Repeat.
Next one. surf and do a few more of these this is fun but i know we're running out of time here so um that's all we have for today and again if you want to download this free handout it's available this week as a free download if you go to hoyampan.com slash free lessons jacob says that's tasty um where is that bit hoyampan.com slash free lessons there we go so check that out, and then um, if you have any questions, I do want to say real quick, thank you guys again for all the likes, following, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. I gotta be honest today, I was like, uh, maybe I will just won't do it today. And that almost happened to me yesterday also, but inevitably someone sends like a really nice note, and I'm like, okay, people are watching, it is making a difference, so I will get on and, and do this. So thank you those of you who are liking, subscribing, sharing, following, and uh, downloading and sharing all the nice message. So I appreciate it. And I hope you guys are doing well uh, amidst this is kind of a weird time for everybody I know. So these lessons are a way for us to kind of stay somewhat regular and, and accountable and, and connected to each other. So those of you who are coming in the room, thank you very much. Um, if you have any questions, oh, I should mention that next week I'm gonna open up. So like each week we have like a themed topic I don't I haven't decided what this Sunday's lesson is going to be just yet. But next week, um, like this week, I'm enrolling all of the beta users for my left hand traditional course. And then next week, I'm going to be doing an entire week for just those beta course users on left hand traditional. So whether you're a teacher, a student, a beginner, or a seasoned pro, if you want to enroll in that beta course, then I'll be doing like streams for those beta users and then answering all their questions. Um, maybe even setting up some like video one-on-ones so that I can uh, answer their questions and all that content that we created for next week will be uh, put into that left-hand traditional video course before we announce it and share it with everyone at mass. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you want to like just get your left hand checked out, if you have no idea how to hold the stick and you want to start, if you want to learn how to teach left-hand traditional to other people, I'll walk you through my setup. And if you just want you know, a free preview of the course, also the first three videos, you can just go to drumlineblueprint.com slash courses and sign up for that. And then the first three videos will be sent to your email box and you can just watch them uh, at your own pace. Okay? All right, guys, that's all I have for today. If there are no other questions, then um, join in. Set an alarm for tomorrow, right? The best way to do this is if you set an alarm clock 15 minutes before we start. And I'll do my best to start on time at 6 p.m. Central unless something comes up and um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video then. Okay. Uh, Matt Tiller says, Hey, how can I do my weak hand, left hand? Uh, at Matt Terry, if you watch last, les last Sunday's lesson, it's on my YouTube channel. It's called left hand chops and it's an entire video lesson dedicated to how to make your left hand stronger. So check that one out. If you can't find it, send me a direct message and I'll send it to you. Okay. Matthew Black says, yep. Thanks Matt. And uh, Matt, if you're up for it, I've got like a little bit of time right after this. If you want, we can do a quick hang and just let me know. And um, uh, somehow, you know my number. I'll get your number. I'll, I'll send you an email right after this, okay? And let me know if you want to connect for just a few minutes, okay? All right, and then we can set up a time to do a proper hang. Rick Giannis, thanks so much, Way. Feels good to drum. Hey, likewise, man. I was feeling like a little draggy today, um, but it was good to get on with you guys. Instagram, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you uh, tomorrow, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye. Hi from Istanbul. Dude, that's my first Istanbul viewer for sure. Matthew Black says, let's do it. Um, I'll send you an email, Matt, with my number or my email, or if you have Zoom, how, do, how should we do this? I'll send you my number, we'll, we'll connect, okay? All right, man. See you guys. Facebook, YouTube, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Bye, guys.